Hi, I'm Potty People. Let's look at a quick review over graphing absolute value functions, and then we're going to get into systems of absolute value functions. All right, so my parent function is going to be y equals the absolute value of x. The domain is going to be all real numbers, or we can say from negative infinity to infinity in interval notation. The range is going to start at 0, and it's going to go to positive infinity. The vertex is going to be at 0, 0 for every parent function. Now, we've talked about some transformations. We talked about vertical stretch and compression. That's a change in the coefficient. We've talked about a horizontal translation. That's a change inside my absolute value. And then a change in the constant at the end is going to be a vertical translation. So a quick review, looking at number one. Number one, we've got the absolute value of x plus 2. So this is going to be a vertical translation up to. So my new vertex is going to be at 0, positive 2. I'm going to go up 1 over 1 because my coefficient is positive 1. Graph looks like that. The domain is still going to be all real numbers. The range is now going to start at 2 and it's going to go to infinity. And the vertex is going to be at 0, 2. Sorry. Looking at number 2, number 2 we have a translation. right four units. Okay, now it's a minus four, but again, the, the equation is already a minus, so if it stays a minus, we plugged in a positive four. So we went right four units, so we know our vertex is at four zero. From there, my <coughs> a is still one. So I still have a slope of one, so the graph looks like that. Domain's still gonna be all real numbers. Range is going to go from 0 to infinity. Now, let's look at some systems. So number 29, we have two different functions here. Okay, so let's graph them. So I'm going to say 29, I have a vertical compression by one-third. I have a translation to the right, four units, and I have a translation down seven units. So we're going to go to the right, one, two, three, four. We're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my vertex is there. From there, I'm going to go up one over three, up one over three. I can go the opposite way. So there is your graph for f of x. Now g of x is going to have the same slope. The difference being is that my translation is to the left four units. One, two, three, four. Bam, there it is. Now from there we're going to go up one over three. Up one over one, two, three. Up one over one, two, three. One, two, three. Now, my solutions are where these two intersect at. Okay, but again, they have the same slope, but they have a different vertex. So there will be none. All right, let's look at number 30. Okay, number 30, again, I have, I'm going to put, sorry, I'm going to put this in black. All right, so I have a reflection, I have a vertical stretch, I have a translation to the left one unit, and I have up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bam, there it is. Okay, so from there, I'm going to go up two over one, I'm sorry, down two over one. Bam, 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 bam. All right, now looking at g of x, I have a translation to the left one unit, and I went up 8, so I have the same vertex. I have a positive 2, so I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Okay, so again, my solutions is where those intersect at. They intersect at the vertex, which is at negative 1. 
8. So I have one solution. All right, looking at number 31. I have 2 times the absolute value of x plus 1. So we went to the left 1. We went down 1, 2, 3. Up 2 over 1. Bada bing, bada boom. Graph that puppy. There we go. All right, now g of x, we went to the left 1 unit. So right there. From there, we're going to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. And we're going to go the other way. Now you can see I have two solutions. Okay, so I have a solution at 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. And I have a solution at two, three, four, two, three. All right, last one. I've got negative x minus 3. So we went to the right, 1, 2, 3. Bam, there it is. It's negative. OK, and I have to the right two units, up 1. And it's also negative, sorry. And it's also negative. Okay, so you can see that we are going to have infinite many because it's going to intersect on that line infinite many times. There you go, peeps.